you know, when you think about great business leaders, there's sort of an inherent question about how we're defining uh, a great business leader and what that really means, because there's sort of two types, right? Um, there is often the founder, or at least the visionary, someone who is sort of a Pied Piper, uh, Steve Jobs, where people really follow him wherever he goes. And then there are people who are great managers uh, of other people. That doesn't mean that they're visionaries. I, I'm not sure you would say that Jeff Immelt, for example, of General Electric, is a great visionary. He didn't create GE, um, and he might have a vision for where GE should go, but nobody would tell you that he is the Steve Jobs of, of the conglomerate world. Uh, but he is arguably a great manager of people in that he uh, is able to inspire people and to uh, figure out where all the chess pieces should go. And, and there, that's a great skill, and that, that makes Jeff Immelt a business leader. Um, but on the other hand, it also makes Steve Jobs a business leader. Now, I'm not sure that Steve Jobs necessarily is a great people person. I'm not sure that he uh, is, sits around and figures out how to inspire everybody around him, per se, even though he clearly has a great following. But he's, he's a great product guy. And so he, you sort of have to divide the question. There are people who are these visionaries and great product people, and then there are great managers that sort of oftentimes are partners, by the way, of uh, these great visionaries. Because every great visionary uh, often needs a partner. You know, I I'll probably get in trouble for giving you this answer, uh, given that he wants to kill the New York Times, or at least that's what he says is he says he wants to do, which is Rupert Murdoch. Uh, Rupert Murdoch, over time, has proven himself to be a great business leader, uh, and probably more important, a great business visionary, in that he has been able to see around corners and see businesses um, that didn't exist before. The idea that Fox uh, was not a television network uh, when I was a child and is now, you know, everywhere uh, and uh, is not just a channel, but a news channel and a business channel and now he owns the journal and now he uh, and, and, and has film productions and has satellite, uh, satellite businesses around the world. You know, I, I think it's hard to, hard to say he's not one of them. <laughs>